Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Lapovoni Europicla. Um, this is an in between model between a millennium and a pre millennium, so it's got the pressure stat but it also has a 49mm group head and handle. So it's sort of in between, I think it's about a 2000 um, model, um, perhaps even a fraction earlier. What we're going to run through is how to use it and some tips for beginners if you're just starting to, to use your Pervoni for the first few times. So, first thing you want to do is get some fresh beans. I have here some Ethiopian hurrah from some local roasters. Unfortunately, the supermarket stuff you buy just won't cut it. So, you really need to get some good fresh um, beans and grind them yourself. So, today is Sunday the 23rd of April and this was roasted on the 15th. So generally you want to leave about four or five days for the beans to uh, mature before you can start using them. So we're about 10 days in now, almost at the end of the life. Really you can only use them for about two, maybe maximum three weeks. So uh, yeah, make sure you get fresh beans and you're grinding them yourself. So on the grinder, you want to make sure you have a conical burr at an absolute minimum. I have a sunbeam here. Uh, it's the minimum of what you need, can get away with. Something like a uh, Mazza or a Rancilia is better, but um, you want to make sure you at least have a conical burr. And the biggest problem is being able to grind fine enough. So usually the Lapavonis need a really, really fine grind. Um, not quite Turkish, but almost much finer than normal espresso machines. So make sure you get at least a semi-decent grinder. This one was about 100 bucks second hand. Um, they retail for about 200 bucks and it really is the absolute bare minimum of what you need. So um, yeah, something better would do the job um, even better again and get a very consistent grind. So before you do anything else, I've had this machine on my Lapavoni or a Piccola on for about 10 minutes now, um, warming up. And you can see in the background that it's been cycling on and off. Uh, I haven't touched it, but I have uh, filled it up just below the ice, um, the glass site there, um, which is basically full, and that'll be enough to do two, maybe three shots out of. So, first thing you want to do with your machine is just bleed off what they call the false pressure. So when you fill it up to the sight glass, it fills up to about here, and there's this headspace in here which is full of um, air. So that can create some bubbling in your foam when you're microfirming um, or steaming your milk, and also it'll push through the, brand, uh, the grounds in your coffee. Um, when you are finally pulling your shot and it will sometimes break the puck apart and you don't get quite the extraction. So you really need to do it for 10-15 seconds. You can get a sped um, milk foaming jar, you can use a, um, a cup, whatever it is as long as it holds the heat and just give it one full spin. Leave it until you hear that steam being pretty constant. Give it a few seconds, bleed off false pressure. Wind it off. That's all you need to do. Then you'll see immediately it'll start heating up again. It'll take a few seconds and then it'll go back to um, being stable again and up to temperature. So as I said, this one, this model's got the pressure stat in it. If you don't have the pressure stat or you have the two switch system, you need to manage your heat a bit better. Um, I haven't had much use with those ones, but you will just need to make sure you're getting used to the temperature. So now we're ready to start grinding. So grab your um, double filter basket. Uh, and you can start grinding. I have a, uh, a naked or a bottomless porta filter. It actually came as a combo. You can see here that this is the base, the double spout base that fits into the bottom like this. I prefer using the naked porta filter. Um, it isn't the original one. I got this online. It was about a hundred bucks delivered. It is a really good buy and it's also really good for diagnosing problems when you're first starting. So I definitely recommend getting a naked if you can. I use this all the time now and I think it's fabulous. So let's go ahead, grab your double filter basket, grind, it's gonna be a bit loud. So you wanna grind until you've got just over the, uh, the rim. You can see there that the coffee's starting to clump just a little bit. That's perfect. That means you've got just about the right, um, the right grind size. So it's quite fine, but it's not quite a talcum powder yet. So um, definitely start fine. You can then go ahead and tamp. And what we do is a finger tamp. So make sure your coffee is level. You want about about 12 to 13 grams of coffee in there. You don't want uh, too much in there. Uh, otherwise you won't get quite the right extraction. So about 12 to 13 grams is right. 
go ahead, grab your tamper. I've just got a simple metal one. They don't have to be too fancy. Again, this one was pretty cheap online. Go ahead, make sure it fits nice and slug, snug. Keep it even. Give it just a really light tamp with just the tops of your fingers. You don't need to press too much. And a nice little polish there as well. Here we go. We can see we've got a nice even uh, uh, coffee puck there. If there's any loose ground, just tip them into your knock box. Go ahead, pop it into your porta filter. Again, this is the naked, so you can see where the coffee would come out of here. Go ahead, chuck it straight in to your pavoni. Some people like to use the technique where you lift almost all the way up to the top, just before the water starts flowing in. I find that it doesn't really make any difference, and it certainly won't make too much difference if you're starting. So go ahead, chuck it in there. Make sure it's nice and firm. These can come unlocked if you haven't got it quite incorrectly, so make sure you give it a wiggle and it's not gonna move anywhere. All right. Grab your glass, make sure you've got it just underneath your, um, your group handle here, ready to grab all that delicious sweet, sweet coffee. So let's just talk about quickly how we're gonna do this. So uh, what I'm gonna do is raise the lever right up. You'll hear the water gushing in. I'll leave it all the way up for about five seconds or so. We should start seeing just one or two drops coming through into the glass. Um, you may not be able to see it from that angle, but you should be able to see um, coffee just starting to drip through in my naked porter filter there. That means you know you're getting a good extraction. Um, and then what we're going to do is a nice even pressure all the way down um, through the bottom of the um, uh, the bottom of, the, of this, the press itself. So it should take all in all about 25 to 30 seconds. Um, again, it depends on how you like your coffee, whether you like it a bit darker or you like it a bit lighter. Um, it depends on how much how much time you'll actually push through. But as a rule of thumb, 25, 30 seconds is, is a good um, time in total. So let's go ahead. Um, what we're gonna do is if, if you have found that you have ground too fine or you've tamped too hard, and you'll be pressing really hard on the way down, just leave it. You don't wanna bend this. They're very expensive to replace. It shouldn't be too hard a pressure. It should be just a nice, even press all the way down through. You shouldn't have to use your whole body weight. It should be just one arm using them, um, using the pressure. So hold your base just here. Move out of the way so you guys can see. Hold it down here nice and firm. They do tend to lift up a little bit if you're not careful. So just push all the way up. Hear the coffee go in. Count three, four, five. Excellent. And on the way down, start feeling a bit of resistance. Coffee's now dripping. And you're getting lots and lots of sweet crema. Perfect. Once it's stopped with a steady stream, I move it out. I find the last little bit becomes a bit bitter. And that's a pretty good pour. You can see a nice, a thick foam here, um, nice thick crema all the way around, really consistent. Um, and that's gonna be a nice tasting shot. A couple of tricks for young players is you gotta dial in your grinder. Um, you know, there'll be that sweet spot. You'll find it's not too, uh, too hard or um, well, not too fine with the grinder. It's not too, um, too coarse either. So again, it should just start clumping as you're grinding. Uh, I usually, well, when I was dialing mine in, I find I go from the, the finer side and work my way back. Again, if you're finding when you're pushing uh, the lever down and it's just really not going, you have to use your whole body weight. Just stop, start again. Uh, a couple other tricks as well is you really only need just a very, very light tamp with this. Um, you don't need to use your whole body weight at all. You know, um, it's really only a few pounds or a few kilos of, of pressure there um, that you're using. Um, again, fresh beans, number one, um, and that's, that's really it. So uh, if you're finding you're practicing shot after shot after shot, these things are really prone to overheating. Just turn it off, give it half an hour or so, wait for the whole um, device to cool down, and um, try again. So they, the Pavonis are very well known for overheating. Um, and you'll find that if you're just pulling five or six shots in a row, one after another, well, it's just simply going to overheat and you're not going to get any crema. So, you know, two or three at an absolute maximum um, and then go away, come back in half an hour. Once it's cooled down a little bit, top up your water, go again. Take the water filter out, 
it's very important to give this a few minutes just to um, release the pressure. You'll find that if you don't, it'll what they call sneeze, and um, there'll be pressure still built up within the group handle itself and within the porter filter, and you'll find the coffee will just spray everywhere. Uh, you can then go ahead and get ready to grind. Should come out like a nice even puck. You guys probably didn't see that, but it's a nice solid puck that's sitting in the bottom there. That's pretty much what you want. Then to finish it off, is just run a little bit of water through. Get out any residual coffee that's in there. If you have steamed any milk as well to make a latte or a cappuccino, just go ahead, blend off any steam that's in there as well and um, wipe it down and get rid of any of the milk. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, guys.